All right, what's up, Hot Squad? So, Nintendo yesterday just dropped the gameplay of one of the most anticipated games of the year coming out May 12th, two days after my birthday, by the way. It's crazy. Yeah, that is Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, yeah, so we finally got gameplay out on um, the producer of the Legend of Zelda series, Mr. Ayo Yunuma, if I pronounce his name right, has his gameplay being presented. So I'm definitely excited to check this out. It's been one of my most anticipated games of the year. Especially, obviously, I beat Breath of Wild about two years ago, I believe. About two years ago, I did play Breath of Wild, and I freaking loved it. So, I'm definitely excited for this, y'all. So, what for ado, let's check this out, see if it's, it's going to be, you know, game of the year. So, who knows? Who knows, y'all? Because some game might come out of nowhere, might beat Tears of Kingdom. Who knows? But anyways, let's check this out, shall we? Let's get it. And now, our feature presentation. Hello everyone, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. First, I have some news. Development on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Thank you very much for waiting. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. Okay? Let's begin. Here we are in the land of Hyrule. Like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is, it's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. In this game, the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. You'll notice some landmasses floating up there. We call them Sky Islands. You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? If we take a look... Oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Let's head over to it. We are almost at the spot where the object fell. Here it is. Okay, let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Look, it started rising. This power is known as Recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Since I just used Recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. That's pretty cool. We're a lot closer to the Sky Islands. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. There are a few other Sky Islands floating here too. I made it! There are lots of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. Okay, now we're on a slightly bigger Sky Island. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. Always love the artistic design. There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Oh, what design is in Let's continue. <clears throat> oh, something's there. This is a brand new enemy called a construct. Hmm. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. Hmm. Ah, the branch broke. Not good, not good. Hmm. Quick, get another branch and... We defeated it. Moving on. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this... Look! Oh wow! We can stick them together. 
we created a makeshift hammer. Very neat. This is called Fuse. Fuse. Okay. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. That's pretty neat. Let's take on another construct with this fused weapon. We're dealing with two of them at once. <laughs> oh, we beat one. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. You can fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, we can create a weapon with a much longer attack range. Cool. With this, we don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and... You can freeze faraway enemies. Very useful. In addition, hmm, let's see. Ah, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. So, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Fuse it to an arrow and. Whoa. <laughs> Look, it homed in on the target. Nice. Let's try this on another bird. I'll just fire in that general direction. That's very simple. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Hmm. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. I blocked with the shield. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemies lost sight of Link. So okay, I see. Attack! Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. So it's like a In the previous ball. game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. Mm. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Let's do one more. We'll bring this over here and attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. Oh, wow. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Mm. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. You can always attach things or detach them like this. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. <laughs> However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Hmm, there's something here. Let's try hitting it. Oh, wind. It's blowing wind. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching it? Okay, I see. It recharges and turns off. That's cool. I like that. Nice. We'll attach another one. This should make the boat well balanced. Okay, they're attached. <clears throat> All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, it's moving. It's sailing pretty fast with the wind from the fans. 
Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. All right, we reached the other side. In the most recent trailer, we showed scenes of Link riding a large car in a flying machine. Okay. Those vehicles mm -hmm. actually aren't in the game from the start. Oh. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. And depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. So, try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. Wow. Love the customization, man. There are even more new abilities. <clears throat> Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. Look, I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through to the floor above you. There are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. If we use the ability here, Oh. Come on, keep going. Okay, we emerged at the top of the hill. Nice. In the previous game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Very useful. Here's another example. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Ah, it blew me away with wind. <laughs> Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah, I got pushed <laughs> off. Damn. Ah, well, let's just return to the surface. <laughs> You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. In the sky, you'll be able to look out across the land. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up like this. Let's dive into this river. And we're back on the surface. There are still so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. What did you think? Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Oh. oh yeah, that's right. Which all that model? Love the look of the Joy Cons too. Pretty sick. I like, like that design though. Really like it. April 28th. Okay. Same day as Star Wars Jedi Survivor comes out. Oh, the um, Control Patrol May 12th carrying case. Oh, wow. Right on. Right on. All right. Well, wow. That was actually a really cool um, gameplay. That was really cool gameplay. 
you know, this is actually my honest reaction to it. You know, I'm not going to be like absolutely hyped. Like, oh my gosh, this looks freaking amazing. I'm going to get it, Dave, but let's, let's go. <laughs> nah, nah, this is not my, my <clears throat> excuse me, my, my genuine honest reaction. It looks really good, though. It looks pretty damn good. You know, I love, like I said, I love Breath of the Wild. And obviously, I'm still playing a lot of Zelda games because obviously, I never grew up playing Zelda. If you don't have not seen my video before, I never played Zelda growing up. Breath of the Wild was actually my first Zelda game I've ever beaten. And I have how Warriors Age of Calamity play as well. And Ocarina of Time as well on Switch and Majora's Mask. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying to clear my throat here. But yeah, it looks really good, y'all. It looks really good. So hopefully, obviously, I got a feeling it's going to be a perfect score. Same, probably, definitely perfect score just like Breath of the Wild. But who knows? Who knows? A game year might could might might beat from um, Jesus Kingdom. Not saying that Jesus Kingdom might get beaten by it, but who knows, y'all? Who knows? You know, this is gonna be a healthy year for games since it already has been already with Metro Prime Master, Death Space Remake, and now Resident Evil 4 Remake, Hogwarts Legacy, you know, you name the games you play. So yeah, it looks awesome. It looks awesome. I'm definitely gonna get it. Oh hell yeah, most definitely. Look most definitely. So Hot Squad, there you have it. That was my gameplay trailer reaction to Legends of the of Kingdom. And it looks pretty damn awesome. Pretty great, you know. It looks pretty damn good, you know. You know, like I said before, played better for a while. Freaking loved it. The open world design of Hyrule was absolutely amazing. Like, I just love the art style to it. The art style, combat was pretty good. You know, I just get got so irritated that you know I had to be careful on my weapons and my shields. They kept breaking. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. These fragile, fragile, damn things. <laughs> so it was actually my first time playing Zelda. You know, I'm like I said. I'm still getting used to it. Never grew up playing Zelda, by the way. So, yeah, I'm definitely sorry for Tears of Kingdom. And I'm catching up to a lot of games. You know, I have Guardians of the Galaxy to get through and Splatoon 3 to get through the story mode. So, yeah, I'll be damn sure be busy for a while, you know, as always. And I have, you know, college stuff coming up, you know, on I work. So, I get these reactions as soon as I can, y'all. I get these reactions as soon as I can. I'm not going to stop. Trust me. I'll schedule them. I will schedule them. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. Are you very excited for Tears of the Kingdom? Do you think it's going to be game of the year? Do you think it's not going to be game of the year? Do you think what game is going to beat it? You know, what's, what's your favorite Zelda game? And what's your worst favorite Zelda game? Your least favorite. So, Hot Squad, there you have it. So, unfortunately, this is going to be your only reaction for today because I have, you know, I'll be busy right now. Um, Friday or Saturday, hopefully by Friday, I'll get my reactions, straight reactions, I promise for, for Past X, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Super Mario Bros. movie and the Teenage Mutant Turtles Meet Mayhem trailers. So, Hot Squad, safe out the sky. I will see y'all hopefully later this week for more reactions. And I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Have a great day. And I'll see y'all more as always for more content. Goodbye.